Hey, Clint, thanks for joining us. Hi. Again, if you're online and you have a question, please use the raise hand feature and we'll do questions in the room first. Clean, congrats on the win and the clean sheet. Why don't you start us off with your thoughts on tonight's match? I think we had really great stretches of Thorn Soccer. And it's the first time in a couple games where I felt like uh, we put together really good stretches of quality minutes. Uh, limited their opportunities and looked more like us and we looked like we we're having fucking fun so When we look like that then we're we're at our best and I think um, We're pretty unstoppable when we're at, when we're at our best Hey Clay. Um Kelly getting the <laughs> goal um, Obviously, a, an enjoyable moment for everybody. Um, yeah. What was your experience? Oh in my that god, her eyes! I love it. Her <laughs> eyes just like it's like they're just like yes. Um, it's like she surprises herself with her own brilliance. Um, <laughs> but it was such a good goal and uh, quality cross on Sam and then Kel just you know putting it back across the frame of the goal and it happens to go in and if it doesn't happen to go in, we have runners following up to try and you know put it in. I just think that's such quality, and any time a defender gets up there and gets a, a goal, we get extra happy. Um, you know, that's how we get Bella to run out of the out of her own 18 to celebrate uh, one of us scores. So she she got to run out twice today. That's pretty that's pretty cool. Liv Moultrie has really you know come into her own in the last mm -hmm. few games. Um, you know, been a consistent starter. Mm -hmm. um, what have you seen from her in terms of her growth this season? Yeah, Liv's just been super dangerous. She's been one of the most dangerous um, attacking presences on the pitch. And so seeing her step up into that role and then like put good balls in the box, uh, quality passes, uh, getting shots on goal, getting goals, um, that's what we need. And so that's, that's why she's on this team. That's why we have anybody on this team and we don't care how old you are. Um, if you can produce and if you can help us get to the place where we can score score and assist and get good minutes then that's that's the type of player that Liv is and that's the type of player we need on the pitch and crystal's been really going off this season I mean, <laughs> she, it's, this is her first full season back yeah. uh from from having a child i mean what, what can you say about oh, what she's so nice. achieved i mean it's so nice to see i just i don't care what crystal like achieves it's not about that it's it's about crystal being herself it's about her having fun it's about crystal unleashing her inner mom, like, she, like you do not mess with Mama Bear. You know what I'm saying? So it's nice to see Crystal be herself. I think that um, she's had, uh, like, in the last couple of years, just a lot going on, whether it's being pregnant or injured or whatever. And now she's just finally getting to play a bit more free. And when she's been playing free, she's been fantastic for us. And it's just so... Um, inspiring to watch and I love being a part of it because being on the pitch with her uh, she opens everything up and allows other players to get into spaces to like really hurt the other team through Crystal's quality so it's um, been really great to have her on the pitch and, and watch her be herself and watch her kick ass. Did you get Marcel anything for his birthday? Yeah, and I did. Are you I going can't to tell you that I got him? <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to. He's right. How dare you? He will now. I got him his favorite food and a lot of them. Uh, I don't. You guys don't know this about Marcel, but like he's he's the best. But he um, loves lemons. He's obsessed with lemons. It's his favorite food. So I got him like a dozen lemons. Um, <laughs> and so he's going to be in his happy place all day. Okay, I just got to say that giving a one-year-old lemons is just really weird. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Listen, I didn't get to choose what his favorite food is. <laughs> Marcel chooses. I just go with the flow. <laughs> Back to soccer. Um, I asked Kelly um, if... You know, being in Houston and the grind of the road yeah. and everything, did that give you guys a little extra uh, motivation to come out and make a statement like that? No. Um, the past is the past. Um, you know, we try and stay in the present moment because that's all we can control. We know that the results that we were getting weren't what we normally get, but that's because we weren't playing like us. And so 
we had some hard conversations and discussed what it what does it look like what does it feel like when we are at our best and why aren't we feeling that and looking like that right now so we had those hard conversations and we talked through it and worked through it and um <clears throat> to me it's just about us figuring out how to fly you know how to let go of fear let go of anxiety let go of results let go of anything that we can't control and just fly and we were able to do that today and when we do that it's just beautiful soccer but it's not just beautiful soccer it's beautiful soccer with purpose and so um some teams play for wins some teams play for championships but we play for like the things that we know are going to help us um, be our best and so we don't play like we don't play for wins we play to be our best and we know that when we do play our best that the wins follow uh, so we have a bit of different philosophy than other teams and so we just try to get to the place uh, create a culture and environment where we can be free we can feel safe we can feel fun joy brave all of those different things and when we feel those things you see what happens I'm gonna go run through a wall right now. <laughs> uh, congrats on the three points. Uh, it seems like having the goals and the win kind of keeps you one one degree below the boiling point uh, as far as uh, shoulder to shoulder tackles. Um, I saw a little bit of frustration from you later in the last half. Uh, can you maybe go in depth about some of the calls that were made? I mean, we're not. We never talk about referees. I just think that like that's part of the game. That's part of soccer in general um we always say that like every year we want the refereeing to be better because that's going to help the quality of our play and that's going to help the quality of our league and it's not a slight on the referees at all in fact because we expect us to be better every year as well um i think we just want to make sure that players are kept safe and to me there are a few times you know where <clears throat> play is you know, some players see red sometimes and, and um, go after the legs and things like that instead of the ball. But that's just life, that happens, this is the game. Like, you get mad, um, but that's what referees are for. So referees are supposed to bring players back down to that <laughs> neutral zone, you know? Um, and hopefully we can continue having referees that can help, a, help players get back into that neutral zone because nobody wants to watch, watch a soccer match that's just a, slugfest to me that's that's not going to help the quality of our league that's not going to help viewership and so um, investment in refereeing is particularly important for the quality of play um, and I think we're on the way to to doing that we invested in VAR and we invested in um, you know the, the referees formed their union and it's been rec recognized so I think we're well on our way um, of course there's always growing pains but that's just what happens. This is life. Clean, how important was the clean sheet today in terms of confidence after the couple games where goals were going in? Fuck yeah, it's important. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> um, interesting. Do you have any questions online? <laughs> All right, looks like we're good to go. Thanks cool. for your time, Clean, and Yay. we'll see you next time.